frozen condensate pipe. My name's Alan Hart and today we're going to look at frozen condensate pipes and what the solution is to that problem. The purpose of this video is to try and avoid boiler breakdowns so what tends to happen is in the coldest part of the year in the winter when we need the boiler the most and the boilers condensing the pipe that you've got outside tends to freeze up so what I'm going to do in this video I'm going to show you the journey of the condensate pipe and and how it's evolved and then I'm going to show you the solution and then I'm also going to ask you some questions about what you do if you're an installer what you do now to protect the condensate because what I use or what I have used is class O lagging I want to ask you some questions about class O lagging as well because I want to know if, if you think that this is suitable so yeah let's have a look so first of all we'll have a look at some pipes that have frozen up in the past or are not installed correctly if we have a look at this pipe here this is an inch and a half pipe so it's an even bigger pipe than what people use normally and it's frozen up and we can see here it's got blocks of ice in this this isn't my video this has been sent to me this video so it just goes to show that even inch and a half pipe freezes up so what is the solution so what I'll do now, I'll show you a before and after of a job that I've just recently installed. So this is an old boiler. It's an old condensing boiler. They have had issues with it freezing up in the past. And as you can see from that, it's just got the overflow pipe going into the bigger size pipe. So what we've done here We've put the new Condensate Pro kit in and I'll show you more about this shortly. As with any YouTube video, please always check um, to make sure it's correct because things change over time. So check the relevant standards at the time. Um, the installation manual, so your, your boiler installation instructions and also check with the British standards. So BS um, BS 6798 is the standard I believe for condensate pipes um, so yeah check them as well so now what we'll do I'll show you some other jobs and um, I want to ask you about the class O lagging as well so if we have a look at the class O lagging the class O lagging this is so this is the one here and it's got the slit in the back so I want to ask you what you do with that to make sure that seals. Now what I what I think is with lagging normally it's like an ice block and it gets wet, it freezes and it actually makes things worse sometimes. So you've got to make sure that you do it correctly. Um, and then the other option with Class O is you get it so it's sealed and then what you can do is you can try and slide it on over the pipe and that that I think is better. But one thing I found out recently, having installed hundreds of metres of this, lots and lots of it is, you've actually got to treat this. So what I'd say is, just check that as well. Whatever the manufacturer is of the product you're using, make sure you check to see um, what else you need to do. So with, with the one that I've looked at, you have to paint it. And then you have to go back after six day, uh, seven days and you have to paint it again. So for me, that's not practical. Um, so that's why the Condensate Pro stuff comes already painted. Um, so that could be an option for you. Just got a few more examples on how, how not to do Condensate pipes. See there, it doesn't even go to a drain, just drips onto the floor. That one just goes di directly into the soil pipe in overflow pipe. Again, just overflow pipe stuck out of the wall. And then we've got overflow pipe again, just going straight into the pipe. 
these are all ways that you shouldn't do it and again I would never advise this either going out with advising customers to pour boiling water on it's just not very good in my opinion let's just do the job correctly to start with I think the companies that have been advising to go out and pour water on I think that's it's just it's ridiculous to be honest um, the health and safety side of it you know customers going outside and pouring water on floors that are freezing and things like that so they could slip um, they could hurt themselves they could damage the pipe because obviously you're giving the pipe a shock so you could damage the pipe so in my opinion let's just do the job correctly to start with and I've just had a I've just been to Sheffield um, and I've been to meet a guy called David Smith from Condensate Pro and David has shown us a new product that he's been developing and David is an expert in the gas industry he's been doing this he's been in the industry a long long time 30 40 years um, something like that and he's brought a solution out for for condensates what I'm going to do now I'm going to show you the different products that he's got and what I'd like you to do, if you can, is give me some feedback in the comments below. Let me know what you do and also um, what you think to this. There's obviously a lot of time and effort gone into making this kit. But what is it? So you've got lagging and that's coated so you don't have to start going up a ladder painting it um, dripping paint down customers wall going back week after and painting it again as with other types of lagging you'd have to go back after seven days and paint it again so this is done finished lag it and it's finished there's also um, a connection kit and there's also a termination kit so there's different products to suit what you need for each individual job there's also, he's also done a drift kit. He's really thought about this. There's lots of different solutions to the job, you know, so it's really good. And then there's also, he's got a grinding, um, I don't even know what it's called, but yeah, it's got that tool. And what that tool, it does, if you've got stone, it cuts into it and makes it a flat edge. So you can use your pipe snug, and then if you have a look inside a pipe snug, what you want the pipe snug to do is put that into the into the wall, and it to be a seal, so that you don't need to use sand and cement. Obviously, sand and cement may fall out or, you know, not be that good over time, but this is it's a solution to a problem. If we have a look on this demo board now, we can see what the Condensate Pro looks like on the outside. You can also then take the 32mm pipe all the way into the property and then you could lag that as well if you wanted in the cavity. There is some manufacturers that are looking at the possibility of being able to reduce that down like this into overflow, which would mean that then you would get the fall on that in the wall and possibly would be a better job intergas seem to be saying that they are going to put this into the installation instructions you'd have to confirm that with intergas and also check the relevant installation instructions um, but what i'm going to do now i'm going to show you some videos from condensate pro and i'll do a little bit of a talk over on some of it um, but yeah let's have a look now Here we have the Condensate Pro Condensate Insulation Pack. The first thing you'll notice, it's in a good rigid cardboard box. You put that in the back of the van and it's going to protect the product that's inside. So let's have a look what's inside. Inside that box there are three one meter lengths of semi-rigid insulation. We're all familiar with this product but what you'll probably notice it's got a coating on it. The protective coating is both UV stable and weather resistant and it allows you to cut, mitre and glue together easily.
If you want to know more about the Condensate Pro, they have a, their own YouTube channel and it's got the termination kit in there. It shows you about the termination kit. I don't see any point me going over the same things because they've got a video on that. So it'll show you all about that. Um, also the connection kit. They've got a video on the connection kit. They've also got a video on the drift kit as well. I've just had a look now. Um, and that, they've got a video on that. So yeah, so best thing to do is go over to um, Condensate Pro's YouTube channel. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, go over to their YouTube channel and have a look at videos on there. Um, if you've got any questions, please ask them in the comments below. And if you could, I'd really, really be grateful if you could let me know what you use now. And if you believe or if you think that that is suitable. Because I, I've done this job now for 30 years and we had the problems to start with when condensing boilers first came out with the condensates freezing with the overflow pipe. We then moved on to 32 mil or inch and a quarter in old money. And then because we still had freezing, we some of us updated to inch and a half pipe, bigger pipe. So we thought that the bigger pipe would solve the problem. But what we've tried to do, we've tried to get away from having to lag the pipes. Unfortunately, we need to lag them. But if we're gonna lag them, then we need to make sure that the lagging is not going to freeze or fall off, etc. So, yeah, I hope this video has been of some use. And as I say, please, if you can, add some comments below, um, subscribe, um, share, and whatever else we do these days. Thanks for watching.